I don't believe we've officially introduced Oreo. Hi, Oreo. Say hello. He's our shop kitty. Hi. <laughs> you might see him now and then. Most kitchen drawers are just open chasms for stuff to fall in and be disorganized. So it's really crucial to have in-drawer organization, especially for utensils. So my kitchen drawers did not have any kind of organization when we moved in, so I decided to build my own. Uh, we're gonna use walnut for it, like you do. So here's what the drawer looks like now. It's a mess, and for some reason, we have a crap ton of forks. Nicole, why do we have a crap ton of forks? It's a dingle hop. Back at the shop, I'm using the bamboo organizer for general layout reference. I cut a bunch of walnut to a quarter inch thick and I'll use that to lay out my grid. I'll use a similar layout, but with more room for each compartment as well as much deeper compartments. You have a couple of options for joining these pieces. One is to cut a half slot into each piece and then have them intersect at each joint. Another, which is the option I'm taking, is to cut a shallow dado at each joint. Oh, don't tease me like that. <sighs> While this all seems very simple on the surface, it can really get confusing when you have multiple pieces that need to be cut perfectly to fit within a space. So I found the easiest thing to do is to start from the outside and work my way in, letting the pieces themselves dictate the final sizes of the interior pieces. So I essentially start with the longest pieces and work my way in from there. I'm not going to give you the actual numbers for this because it all changes depending on the size of your drawer, but I want to make sure that you see the method that I use in case you want to make one for yourself. So now it's a matter of cutting, fitting, measuring, and cutting some more. With the grid worked out, I can sand all the pieces and begin assembly. For joints like this, a little CA glue works just fine and allows me to move quickly. I'll give the whole thing a little lacquer love before calling it done. Since I have a lot of space at the back of the drawer, I decided to cut myself a nice little knife block for steak knives. This doesn't get any simpler as I just use a chunk of walnut, laid out a few lines, and cut them at the bandsaw. The thin curve of the bandsaw blade is perfect for small knives.
And here's the final product. Obviously, there was a lot of stuff in this drawer previously that now needs a new home, but for the basic utensils, this is looking pretty nice. 